moving on i have one more question for you guys okay if we mix equal volumes of ethanol and water the volume of the resultant of the resultant mixture is less than the sum of volumes of ethanol and water okay so if we mix equal volumes of ethanol and water the volume of the resultant mixture is less than the sum of the volumes of ethanol and water okay let's assume that we took a beaker we took v volume of ethanol c2h5oh plus we took water in a container again v volume of water the total volume which i'll get is less than 2v this is the mixture okay so i would again suggest you to pause the video for a while think upon it it is quite relevant with the fundamentals of hydrogen bonding that i taught uh, that uh, that i taught a few minutes back so think upon it and uh, try to answer it okay so pause the video for a while okay so uh, let me now answer this question it is only because of the hydrogen bonding between ethanol and water that the volume of the mixture is now reduced to be more specific let's assume the molecule a uh, is representing the molecule of the alcohol the molecule b is representing the molecule of water this is what we have in container a this is what we have in container b and this is what we have in container c okay now when the molecule of acid interacts with the molecule of this not acid the molecule of the alcohol when reacts with the uh, molecule of water this interaction is stronger than the individual attractions of alcohols themselves and water themselves so what is this interaction this is again hydrogen bonding but a more stronger hydrogen bonding in this case so the volume of this and this when added gives 2v but <coughs> sorry but the resultant volume that we actually get in container c is less than 2v because of this magical hydrogen bonding i hope you get my point okay now uh, now we'll move on to synthesis of alcohols i'll start with those things that i feel that you have already learned i presume that you have already learned it's just a recapitulation will synthesis alcohol from alkenes okay from alkenes you know alkenes this is the general representation of an alkene okay so first of all the most simplest one by acid 
catalyzed hydration of alkenes okay by acid catalyzed hydration i hope you know what is acid catalyzed what does acid catalyzed means it means that we have an acid which donates its h plus ion to the substrate and then again the h plus ion is released back so that the function of this catalyst is justified okay so acid catalyzed hydration so this is the general representation okay we have an acid all processes all steps in this reaction are reversible okay so this h plus is attached to this alkene what happens the hybridization changes we have this h over here and one carbocation is generated and the conjugate base of this acid is also released over here okay now moving forward we have this carbocation plus we have a water molecule okay what happens is this water molecules molecule now attacks this carbocationic site okay now what happens c hybridization changes o h h plus okay now as we saw that this was acid catalyzed one hydrogen atom was added which was this now this conjugate base will try to extract one hydrogen atom to rejuvenate this acid so that it functions as a catalyst okay now this conjugate base extracts this hydrogen now we are left with now let me rub this okay uh now we are left with c h oh, sorry h c o h plus the acid is again rejuvenated okay so finally we got our alcohol so this is a very basic and fundamental reaction of alkenes where a water molecule gets added up to this double bond to form an alcohol okay so let's move into the details of this reaction okay